The internet has transformed our world, connecting billions of people and devices globally. But now, researchers are exploring something entirely new, the quantum internet. By harnessing the principles of quantum physics, this next generation network could fundamentally change how we communicate, secure information, and even use computers. But what exactly is the quantum internet? And what makes it different from the internet we know today? Let's find out. The internet we use today sends data using bits, values of zero or one, through wires, fiber optics, or wireless signals. These bits can be copied, stored, and amplified to reach long distances. This is fast and practical, but also vulnerable to interception. Anyone who taps the line can copy the data without being noticed. Now, the quantum internet works differently. Instead of ordinary bits, it uses quantum bits. A qubit can exist in multiple states at the same time. Imagine spinning a coin. It's not heads or tails until it lands. This ability, called superposition, lets quantum computers process information more efficiently. But the real advantage comes from two key principles, entanglement and quantum teleportation. Quantum entanglement is when two particles are connected so strongly that what happens to one instantly affects the other, even if they're far apart. This connection can't be secretly observed or broken without detection, making communication extremely secure. However, entanglement alone doesn't transfer useful information. It just creates a secure connection. Quantum teleportation uses this entanglement to actually send information. Specifically, it transfers the exact quantum state or the complete description of a particle from one place to another. It's like sending instructions to perfectly recreate something far away. Quantum teleportation doesn't move physical objects, but perfectly replicates their quantum states elsewhere, making data transmission precise and secure. So, entanglement provides the secure channel, and teleportation actually moves the data, but in a way that's fundamentally uncopyable. That's the core of the quantum internet, communication that's not just encrypted, but physically protected by the laws of quantum mechanics. The quantum internet might sound futuristic, but it's already being tested in the real world. Researchers around the globe are building early versions of quantum networks to see how these ideas work outside the lab. In China, scientists have created a 2,000 kilometer quantum communication line between cities like Beijing and Shanghai. They also launched the first quantum satellite, called MISHUS, which successfully shared entangled particles between ground stations over 1,000 kilometers apart. In Europe, teams at Delft University in the Netherlands built a small quantum network linking three separate nodes. It was the first demonstration of a multi-node quantum network, showing that data could be teleported between locations, not just sent in a straight line. In the United States, the Department of Energy is developing test networks between national laboratories, including one around Chicago that spans over 100 kilometers using existing fiber lines. These are still early stage systems, mostly used for research, but they prove that quantum communication is possible over long distances and that real world quantum networks can be built using current technology. So what is the quantum internet actually for? It's not designed to replace the regular internet we use every day. You won't be watching YouTube or sending emails over it anytime soon. Instead, it's built for specific tasks that classical networks can't handle securely or accurately. The most obvious use is security. Quantum communication makes it possible to detect any attempt to intercept or tamper with data. This is especially valuable for governments, banks, and critical infrastructure where privacy is essential. Another major use is connecting quantum computers. Right now, these machines are rare and isolated. A quantum internet would allow them to link up and share quantum data, kind of like today's cloud computing, but on a completely different level. It could also help with precision timing and navigation by syncing atomic clocks far more accurately than GPS allows. And in science, it could connect quantum sensors to build networks that measure things like gravitational waves, or geological activity in entirely new ways. In short, the quantum internet opens up new possibilities in fields that need ultra-secure communication, extreme precision, or access to quantum computing power. The quantum internet is no longer just a theory. It's already being tested. 
but a global, fully functional network is still years away. Right now, most quantum networks are limited to research labs or small test beds in select cities. They work, but they're fragile, expensive, and hard to scale. Building something that spans entire countries or the whole planet requires better quantum hardware, new types of repeaters, and solutions for maintaining entanglement over long distances. Most experts agree we're in the early stages, similar to where the classical internet was in the 1970s. The first real-world applications, like secure government communication or quantum cloud access, could appear within this decade. A full-scale quantum internet? That's likely a project for the 2030s and beyond, but the foundation is already being built. The value of the quantum internet lies in what it can do that classical networks can, especially in security and high-precision applications. In a world where data breaches and cyber attacks are becoming more common, the ability to detect any eavesdropping at the physical level is a huge leap forward. Quantum communication could offer unbreakable encryption, not just harder to hack, but physically impossible to intercept without being noticed. It also enables entirely new use cases, like connecting quantum computers across long distances or synchronizing scientific instruments with unmatched accuracy. These are tasks where classical networks simply reach their limits. So while most people may not interact with the quantum internet directly, the technologies it enables could shape the future of secure communication, advanced computing, and scientific progress. The quantum internet is still in its early stages, but it's not science fiction. It's a real, growing field that could change how we think about communication, privacy, and computing. While it won't replace the internet we use every day, it will add a powerful new layer, designed for situations where today's technology falls short. The work happening now, in labs and test networks around the world, is laying the groundwork for something bigger. As the hardware improves and the networks expand, we'll get closer to a future where quantum communication becomes part of our everyday infrastructure. Thanks for watching. If you found this topic interesting, consider subscribing for more tech breakdowns like this one. And let me know in the comments what part of the quantum internet you're most curious about.